Oh, well, Dixon, he's a great kid. You know, um, he's going off, he's gonna do better things. He's got a coaching job out in Ca California. He's very intelligent, knows a lot of things. He's just a great kid. I mean, I hope he does well tonight. So. They're like, one of my friends, Nick Sebastian, who used to be a former Mustang. Like, I found this kid in the Mink League. He is basically a mastermind pitching, and we need him, and he's coming. And I was like, okay, I'm expecting like this big, huge guy, probably throws 100 miles an hour with nasty off speed. But then I see Dixon Marble, and you could tell right away he's one of a kind. And I'll never forget the first day I met him. It was just nothing like how I expected to see him. He's an awesome, he's an awesome pitcher, awesome player, awesome kid to have in the, uh, the dugout. He's a leader, and uh, those are all just qualities about Dixon that I'll just remember. You know. uh, I don't know if I have one specific one. It's just his, his personality is probably the coolest thing about him, is that you know, he comes to the ballpark with a, uh, an inflection every single day. He enjoys the day. He makes it brighter. Um, I don't know, it's just fun having him here. It's going to be kind of sad that he's not going to be here in that July period, you know, just to be bouncing around because not many people have the passion for, you know, showing up to the ballpark every single day, but he's, he's that guy. Oh, he's a great dude. It's in locker room, great. He's always happy, getting everybody in a good mood. He's never down. He's always picking people up, helping people out. Fans absolutely love him. Probably a fan favorite. He's out getting giving autographs, talking to little kids, giving high fives, and giving anybody he can a hug. I mean, he's just all around good person to be around 24-7. Um, I didn't get to see him pitch until a few games in last summer and by the time he got on the mound he just absolutely shut down Nevada for I think he threw a complete game. I might have been shut out but definitely. and he would always tell me stories like oh my gosh Matt you don't understand like over there they're my family like you have to get over there and luckily I'm here but I can he was getting emotional yesterday just talking about it to me so I could imagine I don't know if whatever happens tonight I'm sure this crowd's gonna give him an amazing standing ovation and it's gonna be real emotional for him. And honestly, when I see him get emotional like that, I get a little emotional. And and uh, he actually had been hitting me fungos uh, for the past two years. So it was funny, yesterday he, uh, he came up to me, he's like, hey man, this is the last time I'm gonna be able to hit you fungos because he, uh, he's starting today, so he's not gonna be able to do that. And it, that's, when, that's when it hit me, it was like, damn, I've been, uh, teammates with him for two years and now he's he's gone so yeah <laughs> probably just um, one of my favorite memories is being able to say that we were um, co-pitchers of the um, of the year for the team last year he really pushed me to try and um, outperform him and I feel like I might have done that for him so we kind of had a good tandem going probably last night when he got his first AB I mean just you could see he was 12 again all over and it was his first time he's ever picked up a bat Favorite memory of Dixon would have to be, it might be yesterday's game when he had the A-B. He had battled off eight pitches, sat back on a curveball. I was, thought he was going to strike out, but he, I mean, he did end up striking out, but he did, that was a great memory. So. You don't realize it, you know, I was, I was, he's, he's kind of a small fella. I mean, if you, if you don't notice, and, and to have that mentality, uh, the very first year coming out of the gate, coming into a situation where he doesn't know anybody, um, you know, I, I was extremely impressed with his attitude, his mentality, and, you know, and, and he was a very nice surprise to have in the rotation. I would say, Dixon, thank you for everything you've taught me. You've made me a better person, definitely a better ball player. You and I both know that. I wish you the best of luck in whatever comes forward your way, because I know just with the way you are, you're going to excel and you're going to figure it out. And I know you're probably going to be coaching in California, and I can't wait to see the kind of kids you end up producing as a coach because, I mean, you've taught me so much and I just played with you. I can imagine if that was like your only focus. You put your mind to it, I know you're going to be great at it. Probably tell him to take good care of his kid and also not to forget about me because when he's a head coach, I want my kid to be able to go to that college. <laughs> I see him still being in baseball in five to ten years for sure. He's probably going to be coaching his little boy, having a great time with that. He's helped me a ton, like learning as being a pitching coach and he's just a great overall guy and person and I just would, couldn't say thank, thank you enough, that's all I could really say. You're going to be missed. As, uh, I don't get an opportunity to have people for four years and um, for me to share this with somebody and, and be a part of my family, I, I am truly grateful that you not only entrusted in this community but entrusted in me to keep coming back. Um, you're going to be sorely missed, but I know you got bigger things ahead of you. Um, and we wish you nothing but the best. But you, 
Um, yeah, you're, you're a part of my family and you always have a special spot in my heart.